Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This has been a pretty crazy day for car news, and especially for the SSC to Atara, which after Shmi's video, a lot of people are now questioning. So here's a little short video of my insight on this, and I'm gonna add a little bit of stuff to Shmi's video, which is very technical, so if you wanna see a lot more of the technical details behind um, a lot of the analysis he did, definitely go check that out. But here's some other little stuff we're gonna throw into this to maybe add some more speculation or maybe clear some things up for you guys. So let's dive right in. Okay guys, so what on earth is going on with the SSC to Atara speedrun? Well, as I just said before, definitely go check out Shmi150's video um, where he did a lot of more like analytical details and uh, reporting on this. So go check that out if you want to see like stuff like gear ratios, um, wheel sizes and speeds and all that stuff. So let's go see that. Here, let's do a little bit of other um, analysis. I'm going to add some other things in here that I think Shmi could have added in to even make it a little bit more questionable too. So on October 19th, 2020, SSC or Shelby Supercars North America revealed a video of a massive team effort to bring their long-awaited hypercar to a world speed record. On one of the runs out of the two-way attempt, they claimed to hit a 331 mile an hour or 532 kilometer an hour um, speed. Now in the other direction, apparently they ran a 301.7 mile an hour, 0.07, I'm sorry, to an average of 316.11 mile an hour or 508 kilometers an hour if you take those two speeds and average them together. Now here's another major factor that some may be forgetting. SSC says they did the run with the qualifications and stuff or measurements that the Guinness World Record book would technically be using if they were to certify a speed record, such as in the case with the Conex Gugera RS. But a big piece here is that the Guinness record stated that they were not at the event and had no partaking in it. So technically, the claim of the world speed record is still under review and only has been made by SSC themselves. And again, for a more technical overview, go and see Shmi's video about this. So what else do we know? Well, throw the speed question aside, the Tuatara is a very impressive car with a lot of reputable companies behind it that did make it possible. For example, the design and era was done by Castriota Design by John Castriota, a man who has aided in a team effort over at Pininfarina to design some incredible cars like the Ferrari F599 GTB, Maserati Gran Turismo, Maserati Birdcage, and more. He was even the head designer for the one-off Ferrari P45 and other two Ferrari one-offs. Now, the Tuatara itself features stunning, unique design themes aimed towards that high-speed um, goal. Uh, it has a very low 0.279 drag coefficient as well. Now, the entire body is carbon fiber and opens up to reveal the stunning carbon fiber monocoque underneath, along with the powertrain, just car on cars like Conics and stuff. Now, the Tuatara is powered by a custom-built 5.9-liter twin-turbocharged V8 developed by Nelson Racing Engines to produce an insane 1,750 horsepower on E85 and 1,315 horsepower on 91-octane gas. It's an advanced beast too with a flat plane crank, 8800 RPM redline, all paired to this custom 7-speed robotic manual electro-hydraulic racing style gearbox. Now it weighs around 2700 pounds dry and it can do around 0-60 to 60 under 2.5 seconds and of course it is rear wheel drive. Now, again, SSC ran the car at a special closed-off section of State Route 160 between Las Vegas and Parump in Nevada, exactly where Conic did its speed run in 2017, which, again, was certified by the Guinness World Records. Uh, so, in my mind right now, I think that Conic Gagara RS is still the only one who's a world record holder. Now, the Chiron Supersport did pass the 300-mile-an-hour marker, but again, it only did it in one direction. And technically, if you want a world title, at least underneath the Guinness World Records book, it has to be done in a two directions and have an average speed. So, Conic Seg, I guess you guys are still the winners right now. Let me know what all of you guys think about this in the comments. And yeah, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully, SSC will provide some more details or insight behind it. But them turning off their comments on Instagram and social media is a bit questionable. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more.